to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys an unboxing video from Sephora. It isn't a huge video though because um, I'm just a teenager in high school and I'm not a huge famous person. So, But it's still something that I wanted to show you guys and film for you guys because I thought it would be kind of fun. And I think you guys requested that you wanted an unboxing so I did it and I hope you guys maybe get some tips. I did talk about using like um, discount codes and like finding stuff from the sales section at Sephora. So definitely check that out and um, take advantage of all those sweet deals. If you guys want to see what I got from Sephora, just keep on watching. Alright, so to start off my unboxing, I obviously needed packages. <laughs> so I have my two Sephora packages right here and um, it's really weird because I remember ordering only one thing. So I think it's in this box because this one definitely feels heavier, but this one's bigger, but this one feels very empty. So I'm going to open this one first because I'm very like nervous, not nervous, but like curious to what's inside of it because I don't remember buying anything. I don't know, maybe it just came in two packages. I don't know. Maybe it's my samples in here. Because if you're going to order something online, I highly recommend checking out the section that's like, what are they called? Like discount codes or like add-ons or something like that. I highly recommend taking advantage of those because, I mean, why not? So, I don't know what's in this. This literally feels just like a box. I was very surprised to find this. So I was like, wait, I already had one. So, so. Okay, it's a brush. It's a brush, guys. Oh my god, I literally thought it was just the like return policy thing, and I was like, I got a Sephora brush. Oh, these are always hard to open, unfortunately. Okay, so this is the Sephora Pro Crease number 10 brush. I got this because I thought I had it, but I don't think I do because I looked at my Sephora brushes and I was like, uh oh. Because I wanted to buy one that I really liked and already had so I can get like multiple. But uh, we'll see how this one is. How does it open? Hello? Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. This is a good one, guys. This is a good one. Woo! Thank God. Okay, so this brush I did find on the sale section in Sephora. Believe it or not, Sephora does have a sale section. When I was buying all the stuff that I'm filming for you guys right now in this video, I did find stuff that was from Tarte, like their eyeshadow palettes, and a bunch of like really good stuff, like Becca, and like really high end brands too. So don't think that like the sales section is like bad or whatever. I mean, you're saving money, so why not? Okay, now let's go into the other box, because obviously that box only has one thing in it, which I think it's stupid. Like, what? Like, is there seriously, like, a max of how many items you can have in a box? I mean, this box, I did not buy big things, guys, so I don't know. You guys will see. Okay, this is everything. I'm so excited. Okay, so these are the stuff that I got. My discount code or whatever it is. You can get deluxe samples. It has five milliliters in 0.16 fluid ounces. Fluid ounces. So I think that's awesome. So this is the Makeup Forever, their foundation, Ultra HD foundation. And I have, this is my second one now. So this is really cool. Now I can have like a backup. It's the same shade as my stick, so I obviously know it's like the right shade. The next thing I got that was like on a um, deluxe sample was a Sephora cleansing cream. This was four dollars, guys. Was this a sample or a deluxe thing? I don't remember. To be honest, I think I bought this for four dollars. Okay, so this was one of my um, samples. This is the Origin, Oregon, Origins, Origins. Um, super spot remover. So this is the acne treatment gel. I've never used Origins, that's why I'm very cautious about saying their name because I don't know if I'm saying it right. But I saw this and I was like, I guess I'll give it a try because it looks like you can just like put it on like a little part of your face that has like acne and then you can like sleep with it on or something and it like goes away and I was like, okay. And the next thing that I got, which I have been wanting, I think I bought the wrong thing. Hold on. I bought the wrong thing. Oh, just kidding! Just kidding! Thank God, oh my God, okay. So I got, I've been wanting this for a really long time. I don't know why, but like, whenever something's really big and huge, I don't like jump on it right away. I always like to see people's reviews and stuff like that. But I have definitely been wanting this for a while and I was like really cautious about it because like I have a lot of glitter. Like I have maybe two or three drawers dedicated for glitter. So 
I was very cautious about this, but I've been wanting it, so I just got it. This is the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and I have mine in Kitten Karma. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'll swap two for you guys, so you know what shade it is. And hopefully I like it, because I liked it on, um, what's it called, the app. I can make do with that. It's not, it's definitely not my favorite, to tell you, to be honest with you guys. It looks pretty on camera. Maybe I'm crazy, but... I mean, it looks cool. I think it would look, it'll look really good on the eyes. Um, next thing I got was a Sephora mask, because, uh, I don't know, I don't like buying too expensive, like, masks, because, uh, my skin's very, uh, iffy. It likes certain things and it doesn't like certain things. I don't know. I never know the difference. So I typically don't want to buy something that's too expensive because I don't get allergic reactions, but my face definitely gets irritated. So, um, I, this is the Mask Your Rose Sephora Rose Eye Mask. I, I think I'll be, eye masks are never an issue for me, but I like it's on my cheeks or like my forehead. Usually like something goes wrong. So I'm excited to try this out. I really liked the Tarte ones, um, I mean, I kind of doubt that these are going to be just as good as them, but if they are, then wow, you're saving a lot of money. The next thing I got, I've been wanting this for quite a while, and that's definitely like a flat brush, a must-have foundation brush, okay, that's what it's called. I have been wanting a brush for a long time that is like flat, so that I can apply either like liquid foundation on with, like just to put it on my face and then I can use my beauty blender or like to use my primer and just kind of like use it as an applicator. I want to try and avoid using my fingers as much as possible because it's just not sanitary. Okay, so I think I got this one in the sale section. Like this must have been from their old line because it definitely seems old. But anyways, this is the brush that I got. See what I mean by it's flat, but it's definitely like a different brush like from their old packaging maybe because it's like very plastic, you can hear it, the logo is different, and like it doesn't have the same, where's my other brush? It doesn't have the same style going on and this feels way more high quality than this and I have really good high quality Sephora brushes. This one feels like a paint brush, but I mean, I think it'll be fine. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is something I got in the mail from Sephora, but I opened it early. Um, I was, I got this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is my maybe third one. <laughs> I did have the Benefit one, and okay, now the more I look at this, the more prettier it gets, guys. Just a little update, but yeah. Back to the brow thing. Um, the Benefit one, I kid you not. I seriously don't think I apply, I even apply makeup that much because this summer I maybe wore makeup twice a week. I hardly ever did my brows and that brow pencil literally lasts me a month. You know, I was really upset about it. So I, I just went back to my holy god worthy trust pencil brow Anastasia ABH. Yep, I went back to it and I'm using it for um, pencil. I do use, for my brows, I have like all these different things, I don't know why, but I usually use the Makeup Forever, um, what is this even called? Oh, the Aqua Brow. Aqua Brow! So usually I'll use like the Aqua Brow or some other like eyebrow thing and then I'll use the pencil for like the inner part of my brow because I find that that's best. For blending and just stuff like that. Um, my brows, we don't need to talk about them. I just came back from school. This is my school makeup. It is not fresh, so don't blame me though because uh, I just had school. That is it for my video today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this wasn't a huge haul, but I definitely just wanted to show you guys like what I got. Um, I'm trying my best to not be a huge like shopaholic with makeup nowadays. It's very difficult. I'm trying to tell myself that I have enough makeup and that I can just like use palettes multiple times. I don't need a new palette with the same exact colors, if that makes sense to you guys. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions or any video requests, please let me know down in the comments below so that I can give you what you want. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!